Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, of course, I'm still continuing with the paid client doing their Quinceanera. I've been having problems in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, it's been freezing on me occasionally and I, I actually have to restart my computer to uh, get it to work. Um, and first I thought is my rated external drive I've been having some may not be fast enough. I don't think that's the issue. I did upgrade to Mojave a couple of months ago and then to maybe Final Cut Pro 10.4.4, but that was before the paid client even came up and I thought I didn't have any issues. Of course, this is a fairly bigger project, so uh, those are starting to crop up. But it kind of made me think about rated systems. And uh, initially when I got the uh, 2015 Mac Pro, uh, to be able to uh, edit an external drive, it has to be at least as a minimum RAID 0. Uh, RAID 2 drives together to get enough speed to um, edit on the fly. And I, I went ahead and chose the OWC uh, Mercury Elite Pro Dual. And here's a picture of it right here. It does have two hardware RAID configurations, um, RAID 0 and then RAID 1. The only one choice I had was RAID 0 because uh, RAID 1 just mirrors both drives and you lose the benefit of the speed from uh, uh, paralleling across two drives as far as RAID 0. Um, and actually, if you want to take a look at... I did a recent speed test, so I'm roughly getting about uh, 250 megabytes per second. And if you look at the uh, chart, I'm able to edit in uh, 422 high quality ProRes, I think up to 4K. I, I can't see that uh, resolution. My eyes are pretty bad. It's 60 frames a second. So uh, I never do more than ProRes anyway. Um, so that's not an issue. I do have a ProRes recorder that I used on a few projects. Uh, of course, I'm not thinking of the future. It could be um, eventually I might get into RAW for some reason or 4K multiple multi-cam streams. And then obviously a two drive rated system may not be fast enough, but that's a different story altogether. Um, but it kind of made me think about having... Um, only in RAID 0 because if I lose one drive uh, and then I'm pretty much screwed if I have a paid client and trying to do a quick turnaround um, even if I put a new drive in there I'll basically lose all my data and have to start from scratch so it kind of made me uh, bang my head I should have got that for uh, a um, RAID enclosure because they do have something called RAID 5 where one drive is used for redundancy backup. Well, not technically backup, but um, if one of the three rated uh, drives fail, you can put in a new one. It will re uh, rebuild the RAID system and you would have all your data back, which is really appealing to me. It's better than just losing one drive and losing everything. So, um, I would actually get more, probably double the speed, um, possibly higher um, capacity and uh, uh, data loss redundancy, which I can get back. Um, and I'm kind of bang, banging my head up against the wall on that. Um, uh, now, uh, unfortunately, OWC, uh, looking at their four bay drive, they use soft raid, and to me, soft raid is not really appealing. I uh, definitely want to get that hardware raid in there uh, with more configurations. Uh, some of the four bay capacity, like the Promise, can Pegasus 2, you can get like um, three or four different hardware raid configurations, like five raid one, raid zero, and I've, I've got some of the other ones. So um, perhaps in the far future, um, I don't have the money now. Of course, when I first bought this raid, I did. And now I'm banging my head. Why didn't I get that four bay? But uh, those are my thoughts. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And see you guys later.